we have here is a melamine base cabinet, 18 by 18 inch, and it has a door and a drawer. And if you notice, this is one of the end panels. Um, all of the keyhole slots, and those are the other half of the connection for our channel lock fastener. All of those keyhole slots were made on a nested base router with this special router bit, the E1000-C. It's designed specifically to work with all of our Eclipse fasteners. We're going to show you our patent pending labeling system that uses colors and lines to match up panels to their, the correct position on the cabinet. It makes the assembly process very easy and intuitive, kind of like doing a simple puzzle. Before beginning your assembly, make sure to blow out any dust or debris from the keyhole slots. We're going to begin our assembly by installing all of the horizontal panels onto this end panel. First, I'm going to take the toe kick, line it up with the assembly sticker, push it in. Now the deck panel, same thing, align it with the assembly sticker, match the color and the number of lines. I'm going to slide that forward just a little bit to align it with the sticker and what that's going to do is keep it from falling over, keep it in place while you're putting the rest of the cabinet together. You don't want to actually slide all of the parts in fully into the locking position until after you set the last end panel on top. I'm going to take the drawer stretcher, top nailer, and the bottom nailer. Now we're ready to take the other end panel, set it on top. First we want to align the uh, toe kick pins with the metal dowels. Those are going to stick out a little bit farther than the rest of the fasteners. And then you can begin aligning the fasteners with all of the keyhole slots. And the goal is to have the end panel sit flush on top of all the parts. Once you've done that, you want to slide all the panels about another eighth to a quarter of an inch just to lock the, this end panel in place. Now I'm going to rotate the cabinet on its face and begin locking all the panels. Push down and lock in the drawer stretcher, and then lock in the deck panel. If you need to, use a rubber mallet. Up top. And now you're ready to slide in the back panel. Make sure these 8 millimeter holes are at the top. I'm going to slide it in into the dado through the top of the cabinet, all the way until it seats. Now I didn't actually go into the dado into the deck panel, so I'm going to rotate it again because the panel is slightly bowed. Just reach in on the inside, flush it up, now it's all the way in. Now I can lock in the nailers. So this cabinet has an optional feature. Um, we have our back panel route machining using our back panel wedge. This is the channel lock, the E900. And um, what it's going to do is wedge the back panel tightly up against the front edge of the dado, which will help to square up your cabinet and also prevent it from racking. So I'm gonna put these in here. You just place them into the routes and then simply wedge them in. I'm gonna use a piece of scrap wood. And now your back panel will be nice and tight. The last step of the cabinet box assembly is to insert the eight millimeter steel spring pins through this hole right here. This hole goes through the nailer, through the back panel, and into the top. And that's what's gonna lock the back panel to your cabinet. Also square up the cabinet and make it nice and rigid. So you just insert the spring bin here and tap that in with a hammer until it's flush. Now I'm going to install the Lockdow soft close undermount drawer slide. 
This drawer slide has our channel lock hardware pre-installed and that's going to make it really easy to install it into your cabinet. As you can see, I've already built the cabinet and it's much more difficult to install your hardware after the fact. But I did that purposely to show you how easy it is. So you want to take your spring button, it comes with the drawer slide, and that you're going to place that right into this 8mm hole below the first keyhole slot um, for the drawer slide attachment. And now you're ready to install the slide. So just place it into the routes, slide forward, it's going to click into place and that little button is going to pop right into a hole that's in the perfect position, locking the drawer slide in just like a seatbelt. Now we're ready to install our door using the Lockdown Euro hinge. The hinge plates are already installed, so we're ready to snap the door off. So once you snap the door on, close it, see how it looks, and make any adjustments needed. There are three adjustments on this hinge. You have a side-to-side -side adjustment, and up and down adjustment cam, and also an in and out adjustment. Everything you need to get the perfect reveal. Next, we can install the drawer box. So we have over here, our channel lock drawer box already built, ready to go, and our drawer slab, which has the keyhole slots routed in it. So you're just gonna line those with these two channel locks on the front. It's gonna slide from the top down. So once you lock that in, just make sure your clips are released on your drawer slides and you simply slide the box in until it drops into place. Before you start making your adjustments, make sure this little wheel right here is all the way down. That's an up and down adjustment for the front of your box. But all the adjustment you're going to need is in the fastener that attaches the drawer slab to the box. Now I'm going to show you how that works. Notice how off the reveal is right now. So all I have to do is give this enough room to slide a shim or anything that's gonna match the thickness of whatever reveal you're using. I have this steel ruler right here. Slide that in and then slide your drawer front down until it seats against that shim. And now your reveal is perfect. After you've made your adjustments, you're ready to lock on the drawer front and you're going to do that by drilling through the sub front using your drawer front as a jig with a 3 16 or 5 millimeter drill bit and your drawer pull is what's going to lock your drawer front into the final position. Now that's a nice looking cabinet that required no glue to assemble, really fast and easy, all the fasteners are completely hidden, and it allows you to ship this cabinet flat pack to the job site or knock down to any of your customers who may be buying cabinets from you, and it can be assembled anywhere. Thank you for watching.